Hi all, welcome to the new video of data structures using C. In this video, we are going to discuss algorithm. So, already you know the definition of uh, algorithm. It is a step by step method to solve a problem and the sequence of unambiguous instructions used for solving problem which can be implemented on a computer. So, the algorithm can be uh, implemented on a computer as a program. You have a problem. The problem can be converted into step by step method. This method is called algorithm and this algorithm can be converted into program. The program must have inputs and a specified output. So what are the characteristics of algorithm? We are going to deal with the characteristics of algorithm. So these are the characteristics. First one input, second output, third definiteness fourth finiteness and last one fifth one effectiveness i repeat input output definiteness finiteness and effectiveness so these are the characteristics of algorithm now moving to the characteristics in detail first one input Every algorithm must take zero or more number of input values from x1. For example, if you are going to write algorithm for adding two numbers, so we have input as number one and number two. Number one and number two. These are the input. Then second point every algorithm must produce an output as a result so in the following for the following input num1 and num2 we have the output num1 plus num2 num1 plus num2 equal to result equal to result for say re so every algorithm must produce an output as a result. Every algorithm must produce an output as a result. Now, third point, definiteness. Every statement or instruction in an algorithm must be clear and unambiguous. That means only one interpretation. So, if you give A plus B, it means that A can be added with the number b so every statement insertion in algorithm must be clear and unambiguous there is no doubt about the steps moving to next characteristic that is finiteness for all different cases an algorithm must produce result within a finite number of steps so if you give any number of cases and any number of input the algorithm must produce result within a finite number of steps and last point effectiveness every instructions in the algorithm must be basic enough to carry it out and it also must be feasible so in algorithms steps and instructions must be feasible in all the conditions so these are the characteristics of algorithm what are the characteristics of algorithm first one input second output third definiteness fourth finiteness and last one effectiveness so these are the characteristics of algorithm now moving to the need of algorithms why do we need algorithms so we need algorithms because of the following reasons first one scalability and second performance these are the two parameters that we need our algorithm. So first one scalability. Scalability helps us to understand the program length. For example, when we have a big real world problem, we need to scale it down into small and small step to easily analyze the problem. So it is the scalability to fix the problem to a uh, small number of steps this is known as scalability and next point performance 
the railroad is not easily broken down into smaller steps if the problem can be easily broken into smaller steps means that the problem is feasible so the problem should be feasible in all conditions so these are the two uh, reasons that we need algorithms scalability and performance so we are moving to a real world example for algorithm suppose we want to make a lemon juice the following are the steps to make a lemon juice so this step one we will cut the lemon into half first we need to cut the lemon into half this is the step one then squeeze the lemon as much you can and take out its juice in, in a container so second step squeeze the lemon squeeze the lemon is the second step now third step add two tablespoon sugar in it we need a uh, taste uh, that means add two tablespoon tablespoon sugar into it to give sweet now fourth step stir the container until the sugar gets stir the container until the sugar gets dissolved that is step 4 then step 5 when sugar gets dissolved add some water and ice on it so when sugar get dissolved add some water and ice on it then step 6 store the juice in a fridge for 5 minutes store the juice in a fridge for 5 minutes to give uh, cool now step now it's ready to drink these are the three uh, steps to create a lemon juice first we will cut lemon into half then squeeze the lemon then add two tablespoon sugar on it then stir the container and when the sugar get, gets resolved add some water and ice on it store the juice in a fridge up to five minutes and now it's ready to drink we cannot perform the step three before step two we need to follow the specific order to make lemon juice an algorithm also says that each and every instruction should be followed in a specific order to perform a specific task so these are the steps to make lemon juice now we will move to the uh, one more example that is in, in the case of uh, C, C programming language so here we are going to find the maximum from a list so the step one define a variable max and initialize with zero we need to find a variable or define a variable to store maximum value then step two compare first number for example x in the list with maximum if x is larger than maximum set max to x that means you need to go to the list and compare each element with the given number maximum if the number is greater than 0 then the maximum value can be changed to this uh, a max variable now step 3 repeat step 2 for all numbers in the list continue this step until the list get uh, uh, completed now for step display, display the value of max as a result so this is these are this is, these are the steps to uh, find maximum value from a list here is the program in define max is the function maximum is equal to 0 comma i i for for loop maximum is initially equal to 0 for i is equal to 0 i less than list size i plus plus for example number of values are 4 size is 4 so i put the values 1 2 5 10 these are the values in the first step i is equal to 0 this is the list in the first step i is equal to 0 so i less than list size that means i less than uh, 4 uh, no i less than 4 then uh, i plus plus then list of i greater than maximum so 1 is greater than 0 so maximum value is equal to list of i that is maximum value is 1 in the next step move to the next iteration i plus 1 that is the value is 2 that is 1 greater than 2 then the value maximum value is stored to 2 then in the next iteration i to value to 5 then 5 greater than 2 
then maximum is equal to 5 in the last iteration value is 10 10 greater than 5 so the maximum value is 10 here you can find the solution so this is step 2 find the maximum number the largest number from a list so in the next class i will come with the performance analysis of algorithm thank you all